I'm going to talk about hackers on Facebook, related scams, including some really disgusting and upsetting behaviour, and how to tighten up your security. Hi everyone, welcome to Planet Juju. Pete sent me a message. It had been a while. Hi mate. Strange, he doesn't normally call me mate. He's in one of the Facebook groups I run and we'd only corresponded about merchandise. Scamdar on alert. Hi, how are you? I'm good, mate. I need your help, mate. Whoa, two more mates. One mate was weird. Three mates are giving me ick. Since it's a support group that I run, can you ask in the group? I want it private. Do you have PayPal? Oh, that sort of help. That sort of scammer. Nope. Pete's account had been hacked, so I blocked and reported it to Facebook. It turns out that Pete's Facebook account was well and truly compromised and he was unable to sort it out and I had to remove his profile from the group to safeguard other group members. And that's a typical story of what happens when someone's hacked. They know nothing about it until someone else contacts them using a different method to let them know. How do people get hacked though? Typically it's because they've clicked on a malicious link either in a shared post or in a message sent by another person who's been hacked or as a result of phishing, collecting personal information that might reveal a poorly chosen password. If someone has access to your email address, they might try to hack your account by asking for a password reset. If you've left your Facebook security settings a bit loose, then that's quite risky, and I'll show you how to tighten them up in just a moment. When your security's better and someone tries to reset your password, you'll receive an email notification from Facebook that looks like this, and that will warn you that somebody has been trying to gain access. These emails come from security at facebookmail.com, and that's Meta's legitimate email address. But you do have to be really careful, as you may not be aware that scammers can spoof email addresses and even make the domain names look indistinguishable from the legitimate one. If you're unsure that this email is legitimate, don't click on anything. Just ensure you're logged in on Facebook and then go to your Facebook account settings and look at the password and security page. Honestly, I don't think it's particularly easy to find, so if you just copy out this URL in your search bar, it'll take you straight there if you're already logged in. Here, you'll find this section where you can see any recent emails Facebook has sent you, so you'll know if that email came from them. Whilst you're on this page, you can go through all your security settings. If you don't already have your two-factor authentication set up, then you're taking a big risk these days. So go in and add your mobile or cell phone number so that Facebook can send you a unique number to enter whenever you do something that changes your login settings. Remember never to give this number to anyone else. And if you get this email and you haven't just tried to change your password, don't enter it anywhere. There are other methods you can use to authenticate a password change, such as downloading an authenticator app on your phone, like this one, which will generate secure numbers that expire after a minute. Then, if your password isn't a strong one, or if you've used it elsewhere, you can change it here too. You can see where you've logged in. Go ahead and delete any devices you don't recognise from here. And here, you can set up how you're alerted if someone logs in on an unknown device. OK, now we've done that, let's head over to the security checkup. If you click here, you'll be transferred to one of Facebook's privacy settings topics that will check how well you're set up. If you get lost, the web page you need to be on is this one. Mine here is showing that my password is OK, I have two-factor authentication set up and I've switched my login alerts on. Click on continue and you'll get some more guidance about your password and how to make it safer. You can change your password at this point if you wish. I'm happy with mine at the moment so I'll continue. You can manage your two-factor authentication from here. Next and I can see where my alerts will appear.
check that you've got the right email address in here. Finally, it confirms everything again, but if you now go to the web page shown here at the top, you'll get a selection of other privacy topics to check through. You can work through what information you want people to see about you. You can make it harder for scammers to fish for information if you restrict this to friends and make your default audience friends rather than everyone, including scammers. There's a function in this topic area to limit all your past public posts so that just your default audience can see them and this is really useful to be able to do it all at once. The only things that remain public are fundraisers and your current profile picture and background picture. Another thing you can do is to view your profile as a member of the public would see it, so you can see exactly what information about yourself that you're giving to the world. Click on your profile picture to get your profile page up and then click on the three dots and then view as. You can't change anything whilst in this mode, but it's a useful view. And then to exit, click the button Exit View As at the top. There are all sorts of other things to check, so don't be afraid to have a really good look around. You'll learn a lot. But I really want to move on now and tell you about the other scams that can get you if you're in a panic about being hacked and not thinking straight. If you haven't set your default audience to friends and you make a public post that you've been hacked or not to accept friends requests like this one or anything similar, you'll probably end up receiving messages from people really, really wanting to help you. I mean, complete strangers who you've never met piling on your post to help you. I was recommended to hashtag hacks on Instagram and he got back my account and every information on it. I don't know how he did it but he's a genuine friend I'll advise you to get in touch with him and get your problem fixed in no time you can trust him. It's amazing how fast total strangers from all over the world, <coughs> Nigeria, can find you just to help you, isn't it? They're all fake profiles. Let's take a quick look at Vicente here who landed on the post of someone I know. Look at all the places he works at. He must be a very busy sought after chap. Scammers are set up to search Facebook and other social media for these posts and they'll ask for an upfront payment for a job they're not going to do. They'll either take the money and run or steal your password and take over your account completely and then blackmail you for some more to get it back. And if you think that's disgusting, sometimes they even make vulnerable people video a recommendation that they can post on their profile like this video that Vicente has posted on his with this clearly disabled man. Hi. That was... I would like to say thank you for the... helping my Facebook. So... thank you so much. I don't know about you, but that really upsets me and makes me really angry too. If you've actually been taken in by these criminals and talk about losing money, then you'll attract more wonderful strangers who know someone who can get your money back. Again, they'll send you over to Instagram where you can see all their amazing claims. Don't be fooled by all their followers. They're mostly fake profiles or other scammers. They're just out to make more of your money. They're not legitimate and their 100% money back guarantee is an empty promise. It's very, very rare to be able to recover money from scammers. Believe none of these services, delete their messages and block them. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Oh, should have seen it coming.